Uh, welcome to Opening Act Shirt 1871, Chicago's new digital startup hub. Or not so new, I guess we're almost three years old. But uh, always exciting here, always a lot of energy. Opening Acts is where we introduce exciting new startups here to the Chicago startup scene. As we often find, um, I, am, I have to always disclose my interest because as a, a part of Chicago Ventures, I've invested in a lot of these companies. But if you expect me to go find the best companies, of course, you want to invest in them. So I want to disclose. This is one we just invested in. It is also, full disclosure, my seven-year-old son Jack's favorite website out there. He asks every question when he says, hey, Dad, he asked me, he's, he's a little scientist. He goes to Kids Science Lab. And he'll ask me the question, uh, hey, Dad, and he asks some really tough question I have no idea the answer to. I have to plead ignorance. And he'll say, do you think we should go to curiosity.com and find out? So you're going to get to see what Jack learned as an early user of curiosity.com. We have. Gabe Bahoski here, the founder and CEO of Curiosity.com. Welcome, Gabe. Thanks for having me. Um, so Jack Ryan knows it well, but for the rest of the world, what is Curiosity.com? So we are a platform that aspires to make people want to learn. Uh, we want to inspire learning, and we do that by aggregating and organizing the world's best learning experience onto a single platform and leverage a host of different signals to try to understand what's the best way for someone to be informed, be educated, be entertained by that content. Those of you who don't, haven't been to Curiosity.com, check it out. Uh, it has great, it's very video driven, right? So the idea of, where'd this idea come from? This has, unlike other uh, new companies, this has a really interesting origin. Um, and it has to do with, and also an interesting angle. Because of course, most people, most people would say, Google it. So if you could talk about those two things, sort of where it came from, and and how it's different than maybe going to a Google type search engine. So I was co-founder of a business called HowStuffWorks.com, which we sold to Discovery Communications as in the cable channel. Can you hear? Uh, no? All right, why don't you hold it up? All right, I'll hold this up here. All right. Is that better? OK. So I was co-founding, uh, on the co-founding team of HowStuffWorks. We sold to Discovery in 07. Uh, at the time, Discovery, as the cable channel you all know, Deadliest Catch, Animal Planet, TLC, uh, in their corporate mission is to satisfy curiosity. At the time, How Stuff Works was a means by which to do that. It was largely narrative. Um, over the course of my career at Discovery, I got into corporate venture. And Discovery had a keen interest in, in online learning, given that they do have this mission of satisfying curiosity. And we met with a lot of content creators in the learning space. And across the board, there was a shared desire from these content creators to find new audiences. So, Lots, uh, as in a billion, two was invested in 12 when we started researching this business in ed tech, the bulk of it into content creation. And the, the challenge is they create these amazing learning experiences and host them the same way you host a music video or a cat on a skateboard or a sports highlight. Wait, a lot of YouTube channels? YouTube channels. It was proprietary websites. They drive traffic to it. So as we looked at the space, we figured... You know, learning is a dedicated enough experience. It's, it's something that people across the globe participate in. It deserves a vertical strategy. And so that was, that was the nexus of curiosity. That's what initiated us to, be, to begin developing. All right, so it's, what's fun about it, and my, uh, as you can imagine, my son, um, as he's at 70, he reads, but the videos are amazing. And so you do a great job of automatically uh, identifying videos. How do you, and without giving up the secret sauce, what, what's, this, what's the insight behind, because video search is hard, yeah. right? So um, what's the sort of unique perspective you brought to figuring out how to take, find the greatest videos to answer people's questions about learning? So the first part of that is ingestion. Um, as you guys can imagine, content of, of, of video nature often is in a variety of formats. So we can ingest content in API and XML and RSS and JSON dump and even in the absence of great meta or titles can bring order to it. So our first challenge, I mean, we're largely a tech team. Our team is uh, 15 today, eight of which are developers and engineers. So most of our work is in understanding how to organize this. So as an analog, think of Pandora and how they leverage music genome to create associations between tracks. We're trying to create a learning genome. We're trying to understand what's the best way to relate content, showcase it, feature it, what's the right sequencing. Uh, and on top of that is how do we make somebody even want to know that? And that was our first challenge. So when we initi initially launched, we were kind of search driven. What do you want to learn today? Most people's answer to that was, we're not sure. And so we switched and said, how about you learn this today? And since then, I've had uh, much greater success in terms of uh, engaging audiences. Cool. And what can you tell us about traction thus far? 
we launched, we're, we're on the cusp of, uh, of, of a million visitors at this point. Wow. We, we've 10x in a year. We haven't spent any on advertising. We're largely driven by social, uh, social media today. We're picking up anywhere from 30 to 50,000 new followers a week. We've, and it's one of those where if you experience us and I would, if you are interested in this kind of content, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. Uh, that's been the way that people kind of get this in your pocket. It's things that you probably didn't wake up wanting to know, but as we position them and put them in front of you, we're hopeful that we inspire you after engaging with us to want to know. Well, it's interesting if you look at how millennials in particular and younger millennials, look actually not even millennials, at teens, um, they stop watching TV and they're watching YouTube channels. And so you're really at the forefront of something interesting, which is it's very hard to search inside. Video search is really hard. Yeah. problem and so it's a really interesting one um, last question we always ask everybody because it's early early days we just did the, um, the what do we call it a seed or a series a series a we just did the seed close the series a uh, recently what 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 can this be when it grows up what's your vision for what curiosity.com could be you know, it's funny we use a kind of a metaphor internally and we think of the way we consume digital as a diet and if we think of what we do individually Facebook app fantasy sports pop culture uh, you know if that was your diet you'd probably say it's not the best we hope to become a distinctive part of a digital diet that is focused on people wanting to, to learn new things and so we aspire there to be a time where throughout your day you'd say you know what I got an idle five minutes I'm, I'm stuck on a train I'm in the airport I'm gonna pull out curiosity and learn something new cool and so that's the, the void that we hope to fill that's cool. Well, it's an exciting company. Glad to get you a chance to introduce to the community and um, check out curiosity.com. Thanks for Thanks being for here. Thanks for having again. me. Thanks, Appreciate everybody. It.